welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. As you can see, I am no longer playing on the laptop. I've got my good render distance back, and fancy graphics and so on. I've got the weather sounds turned off, so I don't want to hear the rain. And uh, so on. Uh, and everything's going great, except I have been having some difficulty with sound settings. And, uh, for well, for example, this is the sound settings I have now. I've got everything turned almost all the way off. And it's still very frequently a case that I can't hear the game sounds myself until I listen to the playback. And that's bad. So I'm still working out the sound settings and so on. Somebody said that I should get, uh, what is that thing, um, DX Story, where I could record the microphone on a separate audio track, and that would solve the problem. Yes, I suppose it would, but I can't afford to buy DX Story, so that's going to be about the end of that, at least for the time being. Meanwhile, we're back. And I've been trying to figure out what it is I need to be doing. I seem to recall I had something. Ah, yes. Some freshly enchanted diamond picks that need to be delivered out to the Needful Things shop. Plus, I should stop by and see if there's been any more purchases while I've been gone. And so, let's just go ahead and speed this up. And yes, I've got my old beta sounds back again. Now the big test right here is this right here, the minecart track. I figure if I can be heard over the minecart track, then I can turn all the sound down and uh, have it reasonable. But uh, that's meant I have spent the last two hours riding back and forth on this minecart track testing sound settings. And this here is the result. And it's sort of almost okay. And somewhere in there I'm getting some kind of a very low AC buzz in the background. Which I am at least confident that Audacity can remove that sound. But uh, it's really, really annoying, and so I'm trying to figure out sound settings. So, if my sound isn't up to snuff, that's why. And I'm, it's an ongoing project. I'm going to continue working on it and see if we can't get things better. In the meantime, I'm going to head up topside, grab some daylight, and then we'll head over to Needful Things. I don't like going around that place at night. It's dangerous. Okay, here we go. Got some fresh daylight. Head out here to Needful Things. Check on the shop. Put in some new inventory. Let's see what we can do. Oh, boy, that giant sheep. You know, I saw that thing in the video, and it was like, that's the craziest thing I've seen in a while. Giant sheep standing over Muse Management. Uh-huh. Objecting to the sale of lamb chops? It's too bad Minecraft doesn't have lamb chops. I mean, vanilla, that is. I know there's a mod that has it, but... I didn't ask you anything. Shut up. All right, let's see. First things first. Any new sales? No. Well, how craptacular. Oh well, that's okay. New business. And I've had something of a time getting things going, so let's throw in some new picks into the mix. I don't know why I arranged them in this pseudo-artsy-fartsy fashion, but what the heck. Efficiency 4, 
Efficiency 4 on breaking 3, Fortune 3. Efficiency 4, Efficiency 4, Efficiency 4, Silk Touch on breaking 3. Efficiency 3, and Efficiency 3, Fortune 2. So that's not bad. I need to get some more armor stuff in here and other miscellaneous tools and so on. But we're getting there. Some decent stuff. As a matter of fact, while I'm out here, I should stop over to Hypnos and see if he's got any more economically priced base tools to work from. Let's see. Nothing there. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we'll see about that. The helmets might. Might just get the helmets and see what I can do with those. Let's see. Yeah. I'll come back on that. I'll think about it. Let's see. Well, this place looks like it's going to beefed up a little bit. And then there's the new redstone place. And I forget what this one is. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. The music shop. Purchase a jukebox. One diamond each. Okay, well. If I get a... Uh, overwhelming need for music, I will be sure to remember this place. Well, let's see. Ah, subway's not open yet. I'll be glad when that is. It looks like it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, let's see. What else is going on? Anything new in the newspaper? Seventh edition in stock. Dogs are still strictly prohibited, and we have mushrooms out here. Okay. Let's see. Have I seen this one? Yes, I have. All right, I have that one. All right. Well, if that stuff is going, taken care of, let's see need to do something and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try now that I've got the new system running and I've got this awesome frame rate that I'm getting anywhere from 90 to 150 frames a second while recording and maybe this is a good time to try again with testing the horses so I'm gonna run over there to the uh, multi-farm area I'm gonna get a horse and head over to the tester and see what we can find out with that. I think we might get better results this time. We'll see. I'll catch you over there. Okay, here we are over at the horses. And I'm just gonna... Oh, heck. I'm gonna forget that there's a saddle, that's what. Pretty sure I left a saddle on one of these guys. Nope. Well, isn't that special? I'll be back. All right. This time I have a saddle, so we can do this. I wasn't going to record this part, but it occurs to me that it's a good test of the horse performance and lag situation. So, we just race on over this way. Let's see how we do. I'm not noticing a hideous bad amount of lag. Of 
course, I am forgetting that horses don't do too well going through trees. Ah. Okay, there's New Hermiton over here. I just need to get to it. Preferably without getting clotheslined entirely too much. Or forgetting that horses can't swim. Just going into the water like a derp. Let's head over here. There's some kind of a scalable area over here. Well, there used to be. I'm pretty certain there used to be. Come on, horse. You're the reason I'm in the water here. All right, let's just go up this way. Wait for the horse to catch up with me. And by the way, I don't have names for any of these horses, so if anybody's good at names, do let me know. Alright, give me that lead. Okay, we're over here. All right. Just a quick ride around to where the uh, testing facility is. A little bit of stuttery stuff going on here. and I'm not sure. That's probably a server client thing. I'm not having anything to do with processing on my end. All right. Press the button when the lamps are off. Da 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 da. Okay. The main thing is to get the number of uh, cobblestone blocks that uh, there we go. One light is off. Wait for the second one to go off, and then we can do this. Okay, let's go. A lot smoother this time. Thirty two, all right. Okay. Now I'm going to off the horse, tie him up on that handy fence post. All right, 32 divided by 52, or 5.2. 32 divided by 5.2, and then take that number and divide it by 7, divide 70 by that number. Okay, so... 70 divided by that number equals 11.375. All right. Okay, that's one horse tested. 11.375 sounds reasonably realistic. So now, actually I should go that way to get back out to the multi farm. You don't have to go the whole length of the track. Because I know the overland route. Go 
which is oh well how craptacular I got caught in a tree and my horse takes half its, half its health and damage all right get off the horse tie him up go fix the gargantuous freaking creeper hole Ay, ay, ay. And I don't have enough dirt to really do it right, so. Let's do a little bit of impromptu landscaping and get some dirt. Oh, please. I didn't invite you. Really now. There, the grass grows. You never tell there was a problem there. At least I won't tell. All right, let's see if we can get this horse over the fence. Okay, who got through that? That was a pretty little gauntlet. Get the horse back over here and see what we can do about its health. Or does that come back on its own if it just doesn't get injured for a while? I don't know. I expect, the, given the way Minecraft seems to work, that feeding him is going to be the trick. Park him there. No, well, I've got some hay here. Will that do it for you? Apparently it did. Good. Alrighty. Now I have to watch that video back to uh, remember what the horse's rating was. So I'm going to get some daylight do that and we'll get a sign put up there and then I'll take another horse down. All right, here we go. Really? You're going to get like that. All right, anyway. Okay, we've got you in your pen. I'll take the saddle. And it occurred to me I still had the result of right on the uh, calculator, so. Okay. That's 11.375 BPS. Okay. Okay. Good. And now let's get this one over there. Actually, oh, this one did, uh, did have a saddle on. Okay. All right. This one is slower. It's noticeably slower. Oh, that was a nice little pit I almost fell into.
Ugh. Yeah, that's real good. Uh, if I'm going to keep doing this, I think maybe I should clear a pathway. Oh, there's the uh, horse head thing, so there we go. Yeah, if I'm going to keep doing this, I think I should clear a pathway through the woods so that I don't have to... Uh, try and strangle through the trees. All right. Reset the track, which I should have done before leaving. Okay, it did go. It just uh, didn't make any noise that I could hear anyway. All right, let's see how this one does. And this one's not as fast. Definitely not as fast. 35 blocks. That's definitely slower. All right. You wait there. Okay. 35 divided by 5.2. And then 70 divided by that number. Oh. Screw it up. Do it again. 35 divided by 5 point. And then 70 divided by 5.2. All right, I did something wrong because I got a negative number. Oy. Equals 6 6.7306769, 6 whatever. Yeah, okay. Put that memory plus... And then take 70 divided by memory recall equals 1.2493. What? Okay, I'll be back. Okay, this one gets a rating of 10.4. Definitely not as good. So we'll take this guy back and get another one. Alright, I was just thinking about this and I think before I take any more of these guys over that way that I'm going to head over here and I'm going to cut kind of a roadway over to New Hermiton that I can take without having to try to drive these horses through trees and stuff. I figure it shouldn't be too big a deal because New Hermiton is right over that way. So I'm going to start laying out this road and we'll get some progress on that next time and finish getting these horses rated. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Bye bye.